Hey, what's going on, world? It's your boy Titus Pupus, and I am back with yet another episode of When Discussion Strikes. Please, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, and share. Please subscribe to my channel, Ultimate Class TV. For those who are watching at home, thank you and continue to watch. I'm here with, you know, Clear Vision. You know, y'all know what this is. I know what's going on, man. There's Trendy. There's Lord Hennessy. And then there's Chance. I'm here with the Bingo one himself, Chance Bingo in the building. Story, Yo, so man. like he bought his little jewelry out. So like you know, I had to oh, back mine. Like, here we know, go. Here we go. Like you know, like I had to get right. Like you know, like yo, when you bring a rap on your show, you gotta get right. Got to. Well, and this ain't no PPP neither. Like this is hard work and dedication. Get with the program. VVS. VVS. But Chance, what's new with you, my boy? Man, I'm chilling. Man, I just dropped the album. You feel me? Um, just trying to maintain through the pandemic, you know, it's hella waves in this pandemic. Like, the yo, listen, set, so. first question off top, how did the COVID-19 affect your creative process? Cause I'm not even going to lie. I, I was fake tripping. Like the first month of COVID, I couldn't think about nothing but my family. But then when I got back into the groove of things, I was chilling. Then I could yeah. jump back into my scripts and all that. So how did that affect you? I mean, it slowed, it definitely slowed everything down. You feel me? Like shows, events, things like that. It's like, it's hard to do things now being that, you know, everything is so like tight when it comes to like people and capacities. Even we try to do a few shows, you feel me? They get shut down. Like it never goes as planned, so. But I just been locked in the studio, focused on just putting music out, you feel yo, me? Yo, I know, bro. These I was videos. checking the snaps, I was looking at, I'm like, yo, bro, he really out here in the studio doing a pandemic, bro. I'm like, yeah, that's Getting to it. Everybody got on their masks in the studio and their gloves, but he Wild was getting to it. Wild bro, it don't stop, you feel me? People nah, stop. facts, facts. So, Heartbreak Hotel. Yeah. Tell the people about this new project, man. So, like, Heartbreak Hotel is, like, it's, it represents a space in my life, you feel me? It's, like, a chapter in my life where it's hella rooms, hella stories, hella adventures in each room, you feel me? But it's, like, it's something about that place that just keep me, you feel me, there. But I know it's, like, it's not good for me, you feel me? Mm. It ain't good for me, you feel me? But it's it's there. And the stuff that's there and the memories that I got there is left to hold me to that place. So I feel like I'm having a long stay. But it's a lot of heartbreak in that shit, you feel me? It's a lot of mm. a lot of pain, a lot of, like, I put a lot into that shit. So that's like, dope, man. That's crazy, because that jumps into the next question. Like, what was the creative concept which you just touched on, mm -hmm. but can you just dump a little bit more into that? All right, so like, basically I was like, I was just sitting around one day and I was going through like old music and I'm like, I seen a couple things like Elvis Presley had a hotel um, called Heartbreak Hotel and it was like, the pool was just, it was something about that pool and I was like, damn, like, I ain't gonna lie, it's weird how I thought about the idea of the, of the tape because it was just based off a hotel, like a real hotel, you feel me? Fire. But then I started thinking like, damn, like, what if these rooms represent each part of like a piece of hurt or a motion that I have for somebody or just an old chapter or something like, but it feels like, you know you ain't supposed to be there too long, but it's something mm. that's holding you there, you feel me? The fact that it's there and it's just open to the to the world, it attracts you, you feel me? So it's like, you know what, I like that. Tell. I like that because like, I feel we as black people, like we hold on to trauma. Like, that trauma is like our hotel. For sure. So like we got all our bags and stuff like that, but but like we're just stuck and like we just need to check out and go someplace else. Yeah, and you know so, you should, but it's certain things that there, certain memories you got that just holds you to it. You mm, feel yo, it I brings like, you back. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Dope, dope. What's your favorite song off the um album, bro? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I got eight tracks on there. I got my favorite song gotta be Lil Albany track five. Oh, fire, fire. Shout out my boy South Mo. He went crazy. That's the 808 Rebel himself. Feel me? Fire. He got a lot of, a lot of shit on the way. So when you put together your track list for um, Heartbreak Hotel, were there any songs that could have made the album but didn't make the album? Yeah, I got, I got, I got, but I got like three songs that didn't even make the cut. But I'm like, damn, I'm going to throw this on the deluxe or something. Like, I'm mm. a, I might just, you feel me, hold those, drop those as singles. Well, so the last time you were here was last, no, yeah, last year, earlier when 
You was here with my boy, Lord Hennessy. Shout out to Lord Hennessy. Shout out, bro. Bro, when are we going to get a chance bingo with a feature? Like, you know what I mean? Because I know you got the industry connects on the low, and you probably got sons <laughs> stashed in. The, yo, like, yo, man, like, you got to give me a hint. Like, uh, who is it? Like, you know what I mean? I ain't going to lie. I just did a lot of a lot of features with a lot of artists. Shawnee Bin Laden, you feel me? Coming out of Queens. Um, um, Diora, you know, that's the whole YTO3, YTB movement. They the hottest thing coming out of Queens right now, so, feel me? All right, cool. Tap I feel you. Them. I feel you. Because, like, yo, listen, because something in my body is telling me that one day, 12 o'clock midnight, you're going to drop something with, like, Young Thug or something, <laughs> and then they're going to be like, ha-ha, Shit, I, like, was that. I was holding that. I was holding that. Don't don't be surprised. I might. Yo, I, trust me, I won't be, because I know how this industry works, because, like, a bunch of those guys... They're going back and they're getting the youth because they understand, like, at one point they were you. Yeah. So, like, they want to work with a lot of the new artists. So, tr bro, I would not be surprised if I woke up 12 midnight out of my seat to get a glass of water. Oh, he got a song with Thugger. Oh, snap. That's crazy. Manifest it. That's a fact. Definitely got to manifest that. But, like, yo, so any up and coming shows any up and coming shows that you got scheduled right now right now it's like like you know this pandemic is like it's messing everything up bro like even down to the promoters they moving funny on like who they bring because they know that that person to pack out a certain place you feel me so it's like right now everything is just to be announced i'm playing it by air but definitely if anybody you feel me looking at trying to book up book up you feel me well we're gonna be on it so, Trendy was here the last time. You know what would be dope? A joint album between you and Trendy. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> see, see, I'm already talking out of turn and out of pocket. Chill, so, like, chill, you know what I mean? Chill. Yo, me and Trendy got music dating back to 2018, bro. Like, that we ain't dropped. Like, that's my brother. Like, I don't even, like, even if we ain't have all this music shit going on, that would be my man. So, you feel me? Regardless. Nah, that's fire. That's fire. So... Outside is opening back up again. Mm -hmm. The chill vibes. Like, you know what? I might want to go out to eat. Like, yeah, you know like, I mean? hang out with my, well, the couple friends I got, you feel me? But we ain't really let none of this shit stop us. Like, we all just clicked up. We still, feel me? Even if it's over the phone, like, you feel me? We just been tapping and everybody know what's going on with each other. So we try to stay, you feel me? And the family. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm definitely going to, like, you feel me? Going out. I'm going to a party. I'm trying to tee up, promote this album, you feel me? Get right. Fire, fire. So, the creative direction. A lot of people didn't like understand what I was trying to do with the album, you feel me? And it kind of throws you off because even though I'm saying like Heartbreak Hotel, it's like the album doesn't really, it's the songs that's on there, they not really sad songs, you feel me? But you could tell that I, I, I put my pain into it. Like, you could tell like I was going through something that had me fully invested into what I was doing. So mm. I think y'all should really go give it a listen. It Yo, the going link on. is going to be in the descriptions. The link is going to be in the bio. So, like, I definitely check out Heartbreak Hotel. So, yo, listen, like, you know what might need to go with that? I might have to write the short film to that because you know I write the movies. Like, you can you do know it. I definitely write the we movies. We can definitely do it. You know what I'm saying? Ultimate yeah. Class X Banco. Oh, chill, That's crazy. chill, chill. That That's might be crazy. too deadly. You might fuck the streets up with that one, bro. OD. Like, I think that definitely might get us out into Hollywood, bro. <laughs> no kizzy. Yo, bro. No and then, like, yo, I got a lot going on, too, that if I even spoke about it on TV, my manager will be calling me right now, like, bro, you're wildin' right yeah, now. You wasn't even supposed it. to talk about that. Yeah, it's definitely a lot Shout of Shout out to Cash, Fred, and my boy Matt, BWO, Big Wins Only, man. Like, that's my management oh my team. God. We out here. That's sick. But, bro, let's talk about these Knicks real quick. Up with these Knicks, bro. Bro, I don't know, bro. I'm a Nets fan. Oh, I like shit. the Nets. I mean, they doing what we doing, what we supposed to do. They only let me down one time. I feel you, and that's all you need. Sometimes to be let down one time, and it's just like, God damn it. But, bro, all these record companies now, all these guys, Thugger, they have a click. Like, they're building their team. Mm -hmm. How does Chance build his team? Like, you know what I mean? Is Chance looking to build the team? I mean, I'm not really looking to build a team, but like, I know when it comes down to this business, you gotta be definitely open. You gotta be open and willing to work, willing to learn, willing to, you know, step outside your comfort zone just to get to where you wanna be. But I'm not really looking to build no team with no new niggas, you feel me? I'm 
everybody that I'm invested in, you feel me? Like, ten, like we got real relationships. Everybody that I'm even affiliated, we got real ties, real relationships. So, like I said, a lot of this shit, even if we didn't have none of this music shit going on, we would still be, feel me? Because cool. we yeah, invested in the same you. thing. Because like, I was just about to ask you, if you could sign right now, like if you had the bag right oh, now, yeah. it dropped on your lap, bang. 10 million right now, and right, you had to sign five artists. Oh, I got my boy Brizo Smoke straight out of, um, he's straight out of, uh, damn. Bro, come from New Rochelle. Like, they, they around New Rochelle area. Then I got Snatch the Guap. That's my boy, you feel me? And I ain't even, that's the other Osama, you feel me? He's mm. tough, turned up all the way. And you know, I'm a sign trendy. Oh, for for trendy. For me, vice versa. If he gets signed before me, I know he's coming for me. Feel me, and I got like two more artists. Me, feel me. See, I ain't even meet him yet. He's a bug out. He's a spaz. I'm about to throw something with him. You feel me? And then fire, fire. my boy Chase. You feel me? Chase Pluto, all from the Bronx. Shout out Watson. You feel me? That's feel fire. Me? That's fire. Yo, bro, cause like you do a lot of music, bro, man. Like I definitely been following your transition and like you're growing as an artist. I like you know that, what I mean? Bro, I'm trying. I'm trying to. You feel me? Stay dedicated to this shit. Feel me? Yo, bro, cause it. It's hard, bro. It's hard when you put your mind to it, like you accomplish a lot. And then like you gotta get certain people away from you in order to get that focus. Yeah, I definitely had to like separate myself from a lot of shit that wasn't benefiting me, you feel me? Like, feel me? I, I there's a lot of people that I had around me that was just around me. Just to be I know around. a lot of people like they stay down with you. So that way when you get your your shit, you feel me, they could come up off you, you feel me? And I just I, I got I get a bad vibe and I go I tell niggas pick their sides, bro. Or I pick it for them. Mm. All right. So, even though I think I asked you this question, I'm gonna ask you again because your perspective might have changed on this. Has any time you've worked with the artist, you'd be like, "Yo, Benko, I got this fire." They telling you it's fire, and then they send it to you. You play it. It's hot garbage. How do you let an artist down gently, like be like, yo, bro, this ain't for me? I be like, I be like, man, that shit. Like, I, I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit. I'm gonna tell you, if, if it's good, it's good. If not, bro, you got, you feel me? I know you come harder than that, you feel me? But it's not like a letdown, you feel me? Cause I, I, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I probably got songs in the stash that probably hot garbage, you feel me? But it's like, you gotta let people know, like, you gotta be real. I'm gonna be real with you. If I know that you better and you capable of doing something better, I'm gonna let you know. And that's fire. Cause um, that also goes back to like being true to you and like having a truthful creative process. Cause like I go through my flash drive sometime with some of these scripts that I'm like, yo bro, what the hell was I thinking <laughs> of when I wrote this? This is trash, like, you know what I mean? Like I'm working on a show right now where like I wrote it and I was like, nah, I'm gonna rework this. Cause yeah. this ain't working. Sometimes right. you just gotta go back to the to the drawing board. Like that's part of the creative process. You feel me? Everything is not gonna be a hundred until you like fully invested. Like if you force it, like if you one of the people that's forcing it, it's not gonna come out how you want it to. You gotta let it come to you. You gotta really have the dedication. It's not a, it's not a feeling, it's a commitment. You feel me? Fire. So we've been entertained all pandemic. There's been these things online, Timberland versus Swiss, this, that, and the third. If they came to you right now and said, Benko, we want you to do a versus. Oh, me and Trendy was just talking about that shit. He like, yo, you know, we should do a versus. Like, feel me? I got a lot of shit. He got a lot of shit, but it'll be a friendly thing. Ain't yeah, yeah, yeah like, exactly, feel me? exactly. It wouldn't even be on that type of time. But, bro, we coming hard. I feel like that should be, like, worth the watch because we both... I was in this shit, no sleep. Yo, bro, like, yo, y'all might have to set that up, but like a nice underground hip hop versus yeah. for the unsigned artists, bro. Definitely, we could get it, we could get it going. Feel me? They bro. talking right, let's do it. Let's I won't even in. lie, out of all those that I've watched, I think the one that I enjoyed watching the most was Young Jeezy and um, Gucci, man. Yeah, it was Gucci. Yo, that, that joint was, was fire. That was that fire. That was crazy. That was fire, I like that versus. But like a lot of those, they was having technical issues, and I couldn't get with that. Once yeah. I saw the technical issues, I right, but I'll come back and I'll watch it some yeah, other time. Yeah, they was tripping out on me. I don't know Word. what that was about. So, female artists, like what female artist has your attention right now? Like, if you could work with any female artist right now, who would you want to work with? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, like, I don't really, I, all the females, shout out all the females, you feel me? Because I feel like they don't even get enough credit when it comes to this music, you feel me? So it's definitely a lot of female artists going hard. It's just off the top, like, I can't really think about nobody. But industry-wise, like, I probably, like, I like Asian Doll, you feel me? People like Bally on the Beat, um, Cash Page, people like, you feel me? The bro, real melodic. Cash Page is actually dope, dope. bro. Dope. Bro, and I just actually got tuned in like a I like, couple I like months ago. Coil, shout out Coil Ray. I like Coil Ray too, but it's just like, it's so much hype built up around her that it's like, it kind of kills the suspense on what she got going on. Like, I feel like the internet just they overdo it. I people. think they're giving us too much of her. Yeah. And like, we supposed to enjoy like her. She's that thing. She's supposed to be the best kept secret. And right now she's like, you in know, your face. They, they forcing it on us. Like, mm, but shout out her you. though. She's going hard. For real. Hell yeah. Shout out Coy. So, any other new projects in the work outside of this one project? Um, yeah. Like any I said, project I that you care to talk about or just tease a little bit? Yeah, I got um a lot of shit. I got some shit with my boy, Kev, you feel me, from the Bronx. Got some shit called Pyrex Babies, you feel me? Some shit that we just stomping through tracks, you feel me? All, no auto-tune, so it's like, feel me, I'm going crazy. Straight bars, we just going crazy with the punches. Um, I got a, um, shit. That's that's about it. I'm focused on my deluxe, really. You know what? I think you'll sound crazy on like some drill music, like you know. Yeah, I mean? my whole the whole Heartbreak Hotel is drill, drill beats. Me melodizing over drill beats and stuff. So it's like my sound that I originally had, which was like the harmonies and the melodic sound over drill beats. You feel me? And I'm sampling a lot of shit. I sample Betsy Collins. I sample like smash shit on there, bro. I just gotta go tune that. Shout out T Blossom. Shout out Perkaholic. Shout out everybody that you feel me help. Get this album going, ball on the beat. If I forgot your name, bro, you just know we locked in for life. Bro, clear vision. Yo, and I like y'all collective, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I haven't seen a collective this strong since the ASAP mob. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Cause like y'all yeah. guys and really we ride real for Harlem each other. Niggas. Like, We're and jump we on each really other's Harlem projects, niggas. no questions. No asked. questions. Like Trendy could send me a song right now, I send it back to him. Thirty minutes, forty minutes. Yo, I mean, and I was just about to ask you, that's funny how you said that. What should turn around on songs? Like, if somebody sing you a song, what, what should turn around? I mean, like, what you mean? You got to explain. Like, do you mean, like, a feature, a paid feature, or, like, one of the bros? A paid feature. A paid feature? All right. So, if my turnaround on, on a song is if I like it, if I'm fucking with it, I might like you, feel me? Just show you love. Like, I might just show you love, promote the shit out of it, you feel me? If I really like it. But if it's, like... Just somebody that's like, you feel me, just want to do it. They not really invested in it. I'm not going to go hard for something. And you ain't going hard for it. You just doing it for likes and plays, you feel me? Mm. I know when I see a star, you feel me? Because I'm a star. Oh, I like that energy. He said, I'm a star. I like that. <laughs> I like... Yo, you got to believe in yourself first. If you don't, bro, everybody make you feel like you nothing. That's a fact. That's a fact. So you're doing the music thing. Will there be any chance that we see Charles Benko on the big screen? Um, Has there be any talks of you appearing in any films, a projects? YouTube, YouTube, like YouTube channels. I'm, I'm about to get heavy on it. I don't really like all this being on camera thing is kind of new to me. Like, I got four music videos out and I've been rapping since 2017. Like, you feel me? All this being on camera and working on my confidence, like letting the world see my face, you feel me, is new. So it's like, I'm definitely open to it. Now I am. And now I got like all my legal issues solved and stuff. I could be out, out more, out, yeah. feel me, out in the open before I couldn't do none of that. Mm, I feel you, I feel you. Like, and I'm not gonna ask you any of that stuff that's not Vlad TV. Like, we are not doing that. But, yo, so, any new drip? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I see you got the neck, you know what I mean? I see you got your neck yeah, piece right going now, crazy. Right now, we just, I'm not, man. I'm not spending money. I'm just saving money. It's not saving about saving money. Saving money. Like I'm still you. on the same shit that I was on last. And you know, I'm saving money. You feel me? And I'm investing in what's invested in me. You feel me? All this mm. shit right here. This is nothing. This shit don't mean nothing. It don't make me no better. You feel me? I feel you on that. So when you take your time to write a song, like you sit in your corner, wait. Tell me your whole creative process, like, yo, like, do you got to get high first, like, you know what I mean? Nah, it's like, it's natural vibe, you feel me? I might spark a spliff, feel me? You know, I slowed down on the lean, you feel me? I had to slow down, let that shit go, because now it's like, when I, every time I pick that cup up, I got to think about it, like, 
I'm not the only one that's going to be affected by it, you feel me? God forbid something happened to me, that might be my last cup. My family going to be affected, my my fans, like my, my peers, like you feel me? So I kind of slow down. I just might smoke, catch a vibe with the bros, call a few shorties, you feel me? Right. Shit like that. I don't be on no crazy shit, though, not no more. And it's so crazy that you just talked about your creative process because mine's, like, I had to get used to sitting down in the house because I feel like there's so many distractions in the house. Like, here's your bed. Like, you, you could get up from your desk and go sit in the bed, turn on the TV. So, like, for the longest of time, I hated doing anything in the house. All of 2020, I had to get used to doing stuff in the house. So, like, I had to train my brain. I'm going to turn off the phone, TV off. I'm going to sit down and write. Mm -hmm. And a lot came out of that. Like, you know what I mean? I wrote a feature film, two TV show pilots. Like, you know what I mean? Like, your boy been working. Nah, yeah, man. I'm proud of you, bro, for real. Every time, like, I come up here, it's like, like, I see the growth. I see the growth in you, you feel me? Just like how you see the growth in Thank me. Thank you, I appreciate that. And I feel that. like, yeah, I don't get enough credit, you feel me? I the ones that's always putting us in the spotlight. But really, like, all this shit right here, even this interview right here, this shit wouldn't be possible without you, so... Thank you, I appreciate yo, you. Yo, thank well. you, thank you. I appreciate that a lot, bro. Like, cause like, yo, when when I first started to do this show, I ain't even think I was gonna stick around and do this drink that long. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, shout out to you, bro. You going crazy, bro? And it's it's just it's just elevation, elevation and progression. We only doing things that's you feel me taking us through the roof. You feel me? That's a fact. That's a fact. So, what's next for Chon Spinkle? Um, next, I got. Like I said, I'm working on a lot of new things. Everything is just still, still new. Outside, about to open up. We about to get back in these parties and these events. We about to get back. You feel me in the groove? Group studio sessions. I locked in with a lot of producers out of town, so I'm definitely about to be hopping on them planes. You feel me? To mm. go lock in in other cities. You feel me? Really get in touch with my fan base. Cause right now, I'm in the city. You feel me? So it's like, yeah. So like you just touched on being outside and going to parties and stuff like that. What's the craziest party you ever went to? I mean, like, party where it's like, yo, bro, I gotta be out, this is too wild. Um, Project Six. Shout out Project Six. I went to a Project Six show, and I performed, me, Smack Nice, Trendy, and it was a big ass mosh pit, like, it was a backyard party. I mean, people was on the roofs, like, niggas was jumping off the roofs into the crowds. I think somebody got shot outside the shit after because it was mad shit going on. Um, cab driver left his car. He said like, niggas was stomping on his car. He's like, yo, wow. fuck this car, I'm out. Bro. Left his shit right there, bro. It was turned. Shout out Project 6. If you could perform at any event, like Coachella, any of those sorts, what event would you want to perform at? South by Southwest. You know what? I feel you on that because like that's like one of the most popular ones. Like you South know what by I mean? Southwest, or I'll do. Um, I don't know if it's around anymore, but Woodstock. You know Woodstock. Yeah, is? yeah, yeah. Yo, I seen that footage of X when he performed that Woodstock. She was going on, right? Bro, it felt like he performed in front of the whole planet, bro. Like that's he, what I need to do. Shout out X, Long Live X. You feel me? Yo, Long real, Live real DMX, legendary. bro. Like. To this day, every time I see that footage, that joint gives me goosebumps. I'm like, yo, bro, how many people? And it's like, how many people are there? One, forget the stage. Like, it's just, it's just one man has the power to change and electrify that whole unit, bring everybody together. It's just beautiful bro. thing. That's why I'm saying, like, that's why he really is a prophet. Like, I feel like that man was sent from God bro, to deliver a message. A lot to of people, people feel that. A lot of way. A lot of people feel that way about X, bro. Like a lot of people, like, yo, X would do a show go crazy, then end the show with the prayer, bro. Like, on some, it'd be like a gangster church service, bro. Like, That's like definitely the godfather of this shit. Bro, You ex know how Snoop is the uncle. Yeah. He makes the godfather, because he give it to you raw, and he don't take no check for nobody. Bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yo, X, definitely. Long live DMX. Bro. Long live DMX. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, bro. Like, yo, listen, like, when you get lit, like, you might have to talk to Swiss, because I know Swiss probably got, like, an X verse in the chamber somewhere, like. Yeah, who knows, man? Manifestations, who knows? motivation, determination. That's all I'm on. Hard work, hard work. I like that. So, Chance, where can the people find you at, Big Dog? Um, feel me? I am Chance Banco. Chance Banco, you can type it in your local search engine. That's C-H-O-N-C-E-B-A-N-K-O-O. -O. Feel me? 
That's Valor Valor. And you know where you can find me. I am Titus Peoples across all platforms. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook. I'm trying to get back on Twitter. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I haven't really done Twitter in a minute. Like, I don't got I got a Twitter, but I think I got like what? Well, followers, I don't know. Yeah, that's like, it. Nah, but look, I'm going to tell you something about Twitter. I think Twitter, I think we might need to take a new look at Twitter. And, yeah. I'm and, about to, all right, all right. I'm finna lock in on my Twitter. Bro, Twitter, yo, Twitter link grow that be platform bio. because, like, Twitter is instant. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you type something, then, like, you have the world right there for that hot second. And if it's lit, people going to share it. Like, Instagram is too much scrolling and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, It's hard so, to find everybody. Exactly. So... Twitter, like, you might be on the sound. Like, we might have to check you out again. Like, you know what I mean? But, like, yo, this has been the latest episode of When Discussion Strikes. I'm Titus Peoples, Chance Benko. And until next time, you know, man, like, you see the wrist, man. Like, yo, man, like, we got to show out Juvie, man. Like, I see what you're doing. <laughs>